remove the battery from your laptop, then remove the plastic caps that cover the screws at the bottom of the screen. This may require an X-Acto knife or some creativity. Make sure you save all the little parts. Then remove the screws at the bottom of the screen. And a magnetic screwdriver is a big help. Next, remove the um, bezel from around the screen. This will sound like it's breaking as you pull it off, but not to worry. It's made to come off and won't break. Locate the four screws next that hold the screen to the top of the computer and remove those. And after you remove the last of these four screws, the top of the computer will fall away from the screen itself. And when that happens, be very careful not to break any little wires that attach the top of the computer to the um, computer itself. Next, you want to look at the back of the screen and remove the tape that covers the connector on the back of the screen. That's a very small connector with many, many pins. Then take a screwdriver and unplug the connector from the screen. Next, remove the four screws that hold the screen to the frame. And that uh, frame has the hinges that uh, allow the top to open and close. Then remove the old screen and get ready to put in the new screen. It'll be covered with a sheet of clear plastic. Remove that before you install the screen. Then reverse yourself and put the screws into the uh, sides of the screen, attaching it to the frame. Then you'll have to reattach that very small connector and replace the tape protecting the connector then reattach the top of the computer to the screen itself with the four screws and then reattach the bezel to the um, face of the screen again loud snapping noises as you attach that then return the screws bottom two positions on the screen and put those little plastic caps back on. Now at this point if you see any uh, unused parts on the work surface just sweep them away quickly to avoid detection. Replace the battery, turn the computer on and see if you've been successful.